So hey everybody, it's Saturday. And as I was thinking about what I was going to talk to you about today, I recalled a disturbing little thing that I, actually I created um, by my chair where I sit over there when we're watching TV or a movie or it's my reading chair. It's my chair in my house. I have stuff. And I have my knitting stuff down by the side of the chair and I have Sudoku puzzles down by the side of the chair and I have a variety of pens and I've got some knitting patterns and my knitting needles and my little jar of the small um, double pointed needles stuff, my stuff, a book or two, my notebooks, my moleskine. I have a little package of Legos, mostly they're little Legos Ben because on one my moleskine from Mike it's got a little base on it where you can put Lego pieces not very big because there's only eight squares or eight components and so I have a little bag of Lego men and I like to change it up. Sometimes it's a chef, sometimes it's Yoda, sometimes it's a star cruiser guy. I don't know. Anyway, the point is I have stuff by my chair because if I'm not knitting while the TV is on and I'm not reading, I like my hands to be busy because I spent so many years cross-stitching and crocheting and now knitting, um, I can't just sit. I need to overlap. So I'm either practicing writing or doodling or playing with a little toy that I have by my chair. And the thing that's disturbing is that, well, you know my little tiny Yoda. I was playing with it. And here's what I created. So this sat next to me by my chair for, I don't know, two, three days. And at first, I thought it was hysterical. I thought it was funny. I thought it was unusual. Well, I don't know if you'd call it creative, but, you know, it's Yoda with his head on a pike. And so it sat there. And the more it looked at me, the less I thought it was amusing and started to think that it was a little bit creepy, actually. And now I find it's just plain disturbing. I just thought I'd share that with you. And so while I thought that I'd share it with you, I thought maybe you might be interested in seeing the stuff that I have by me when I'm sitting in my living room chair. It's just stuff, you know, like a pair of scissors and an emery board and stuff. So I'm going to go and get my camera and just show you my stuff by my chair. If you're interested, if you're not interested, well, here's the point where you can either fast forward because I have one more thing to talk about after I show you my stuff. So just wait for a minute. So here's my stuff. Um, the calendar of Vienna, my little pot of needles, that thing there with the piece on it of paper, that's a calculator, some notepads, my bin of knitting stuff. And this little baggie has the Lego pieces in it. My little Lego men. I can change their hair. This is a make busy little puzzle thing. There's another one of those in here, see. Another just a click clack thing that glows actually in the dark that is something that I fuss with. And the Lego pieces. And you see my moleskine with the chef Lego 
on him. Focus a little bit better. And the butterfly is a bookmark that I use for uh, helping me find stuff in my knitting. Another notebook right there. And all this little tray of treasures. I have an eyeglass cleaner. This is the cleaner for my MacBook. This is a fan that is like a little miracle. It actually came from Judy. Come on. See? Um, I have gum because I get heartburn. That's my MacBook thing, uh, attachment thing. This is a USB thing, a manicure thing, my emery, glass emery board. This is a spy piece that magnifies, I don't know to what degree, but it's a lot. These are, that's a magnet and a nickel, an eraser. This is, come on, this is, oh, oh, battery's going. Um, that's the symbol for um, Year of the Rabbit, which I am. My iPod my headphones, lip stuff, that's a, what do you, I don't know what you call it, stylus with a thing for the computer, my knife, and my current knitting project. That's the stuff by my chair. One other item that you didn't get to see over by my chair was because it was here, is my homemade clipboard for my Sudoku puzzles. I put the MacBook logo on the back, and that's an eraser. So that's my stuff. I hope it wasn't as boring as I suspect that it was. The other thing I wanted to talk about is something that Pam Loomer, Pam the Loomer, Pam Loomer, PJ Matilda used to be, I know many of you um, watch and listen to her as well. But she had mentioned a TV series that um, I remember hearing about some months ago, and I thought it would be interesting, and then promptly forgot all about it. That's why I have notebooks by my chair. I write stuff down. So anyway, she mentioned this TV show, and I remembered it, and Pat went to, and uh, got got the series and we've I think it's only six and we've watched five of them the vi the series is called Last Tango in Halifax it's a BBC series um, of course made in England and it's about an uh, older couple well they're not a couple but an older man and woman who reconnect after 60 years um, they're they're at 16 they sort of fell in love and through circumstance got separated and after 60 years they reconnect and their families are shocked because they're getting married blah 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 and it's the cutest little series I've really we have really really enjoyed it so thanks Pam for reminding me that's it that's all